Hello friends stroke or paralysis is a very commonest presentation in the emergency department nowadays like 10 15 years back we used to see lot of patients with heart attack but nowadays the scenario is changed we see lot of stroke patients or the brain attack patients presenting to us in the emergency department stroke patient presenting to the hospital if we recognize it's a stroke and if we treat it very promptly then lot of morbidity and mortality can be prevented in hinduja hospital we are very much equi- equipped we have got support of all the departments what we do in our emergency department when the stroke patient is coming to us we are very quick to recognize whether it's really stroke or it's not stroke we categorize the patient and when we rule out other stroke mimics and we come to the conclusion it, this is a stroke we act very swiftly we intimate the radiology department we intimate the neurology department we intimate the icu department and we take the patient to the scan within 10 minutes how we recognize the patient is having the stroke we have got a set protocol there are some scores like a rosier scores fast scores we calculate the scores and we come to the diagnosis and we take the patient very promptly the scan our aim is to do the scan in 30 minutes in our setting mri is readily available hence that is the best investigation for the stroke hence we do the mri of the patient we do the limited study and we come to the conclusion we come to the diagnosis whether it's a ischemic stroke or whether it's a hemorrhagic stroke suppose that patient diagnosis is ischemic stroke we bring the patient back to the emergency department for giving the emergency clot busting medication that is very important medication that should be given within the window period what is the window period suppose some, some the patient has got symptoms at around 8 o'clock and he comes before 12 o'clock to us that is called as the window period that is a 4 to 5 hours window period is there if we cross the window period there is no use of giving this very costly medication suppose the patient who has come with completely you know he is not moving his extremities he is not moving his arm he is not moving his leg and when we give the clot busting medication we get a very dramatic effect and the patient moves their limbs moves their hands and legs and the power in the extremities becomes normal so what is important is correct recognition suppose the patient is coming to us we have to recognize it's a stroke we have to rule out all other stroke mimics and stroke chameleons and you have to do the definitive diagnosis of stroke from diagnosis early radiological investigation and door to needle time of not more than 45 minutes saves the brain